So one of the questions that comes up a lot is how does RailPro interact with DCC? If you're talking about the power side of things, RailPro can run on any DCC layout. Um, RailPro itself really doesn't care where the power comes from. As long as the layout's powered, it'll run. So you can run on any DCC powered layout. You can see that the layout that I'm on right now is powered by Digitrax. Um, you can run on DC. Uh, the thing to remember with that though is if you're using one of the old DC power packs, um, a lot of times those can cause voltage spikes, which are uh, not great. So if you're gonna use DC, use a filter DC, that's what real pro power is. Now you can use battery power. It all doesn't matter. You know, as long as there's power, then real pro will work. One of the other things that people are not aware of is that RailPro is actually compatible with DCC if you choose to make it so. So here on the uh, RailPro controller, I've got uh, BNSF 9399 selected. In the settings tabs, there is a page that is called Locomotive Setup for DCC, and you can enable or disable DCC mode. Now, uh, you can see I have it enabled right now, and I set the DCC address to the uh, number of the locomotive. And if you go over to the actual function buttons page, this is where you set your functions for DCC. So right now I have the bell on function 1. You can select any of the functions that you want, uh, up to function 15. Um, the horn I have is function 2, like normal. I've got the... Uh, Got the prime mover as function eight. Um, if you have the locomotive selected on RailPro, then you are not able to use it on DCC. So the first order of business is to deselect the locomotive. And now we'll go ahead and pull it up on Digitrax. There you go. So you can see all the function buttons work, in, work like they should on DCC. You can also go ahead and uh, control it like you normally would on DCC as well. And we'll go ahead and just shut off that prime over here so we can talk. So everything works on DCC like it should. Now one thing to keep in mind is that if you are using the locomotive in DCC mode, you are now limited to DCC and you will not get any of the uh, abilities that RailPro has. So therefore there is no load sharing, uh, no two-way communication, that sort of thing. So uh, DCC mode is handy if you have other locomotives that are all equipped with DCC and you don't want to change them all over to RailPro, uh, you can absolutely uh, run your locomotives with uh, RailPro uh, in consist with the DCC locomotives. Now for speed matching, uh, back to the settings page here. If you're going to speed match to your DCC locomotives, there is a full speed table available to you that you can uh, tweak to speed match. You can just select each value and uh, and change it, you know, using the wheel and things like that. So that's how it works. You can change this table to whatever you need it to be in order to match with your other DCC locomotives. Uh, the other thing that this is useful for is just in case something were to happen to ring engineering, the locomotive modules from RailPro are fully functioning DCC modules as well. Uh, and so it basically future proofs it. Um, it means that RailPro will continue to be useful um, if something were to happen, which it won't because ring engineering has been around for about 15 years or so and they have a good track record. So. Uh, that's DCC compatibility mode uh, with RailPro. It's an interesting feature. Um, not a whole lot of people, I think, are going to use it, but it is very nice to have, and uh, it just kind of showcases the functionality of RailPro.